going on, guys? Is that what it looks like when you start to try to go back? We want to maintain balance over the plate, even when we are swinging as hard as we can. Like when big leaguers are hitting in the home run derby. When you watch them hit, they're hitting balls 450, 500 feet on a consistent basis and not doing that and falling off the ball. We have to look at our angle over the plate. When we work through impact, we have to make sure we are staying down. The solution to staying balanced is not going slower. Let me say that again. The solution to staying balanced is not going slower. We have to make sure we have a better angle over the plate and to allow us to stay through the ball and maintain our speed, okay? Just like that. Okay, stay through the ball, stay down over the plate, let yourself swing the crap out of the bat. Is that what it starts to look like when you try to have your let it eat rounds? So let's talk about that for a second. What I wanna talk about today is how our posture and our spine angle influence our balance when we turn. And especially when we start trying to go faster and be more aggressive with our swings, okay? What you just saw was me leaning back and my shoulders flattening out as I started to work out in front, right? And for most guys, when they start to let it eat and they try to move faster, it leads to that home run type approach and us spinning off of the baseball. So what we need to look at is what is my spine angle at impact? My spine angle is straight up and down right here. If I am not holding better posture over the plate, the faster I go, the more I spin off and the more that I fall. I can slow down and compensate for the fact that I just stood up and flattened my shoulders. However, as hitters, we still need to learn how to control ourselves at a faster pace. So what I wanna to try to work on is through impact, keeping my back shoulder down and letting the barrel finish a little bit higher. So what that is going to look like, I'm gonna have Lick flip me one more ball and I'm gonna work from a no stride swing and finish with a three quarter high barrel. So right here, and I'm gonna try to hold that a little bit high and force my back shoulder to stay down. So when I start to put that all together, full swing, full load, right there. And that is how we are going to be more aggressive with our swing, but maintain balance over the plate. What's going on parents? Today we wanna to talk about your kid's balance. And a lot of times when I ask kids why they fell over, they just say, oh, I lost balance. And that's a really easy reason why but why did you lose balance? And the majority of the time, we have to discuss the direction of our swing. The direction of our swing, most of the time, relates to our posture over the plate and our child's spine angle over the plate, okay? So when we start having kids swing faster, a lot of times that leads to pulling off that front foot leaking open. And a lot of times as a parent, I hear them tell their kids to just slow down. And for an immediate result, that might be a good thing to tell them. But looking towards the future, we want to, our kids to learn how to turn faster and maintain balance over the plate. So with that, we have to make sure they are staying down over the plate and keeping that back shoulder down as we start to turn. So we are transferring from hinge to side bend as we turn. Whereas most kids, even if they find hinge, their shoulders work flat and they start pulling off the baseball, okay? So when your kids are falling to the third base dugout or first base dugout, if they're a lefty, we have to look at how they are turning and how their shoulders are rotating through. What we want it to look like through impact is a good posture over top of the plate so we can maintain balance and turn fast and get the best of both worlds. Just like that. Thanks, guys.